happened again, y'all. I got to go to another press launch, but this time it wasn't for just one bike or two bikes. No, I got to ride eight bikes, an entire lineup, and specifically CF Moto's entire lineup. Oh, you haven't heard of CF Moto? Shame, because they're one of the companies to watch in the coming years. What's up, y'all? I'm producer Trey, and this is everything you need to know about CF Moto. So with this press launch, things were a bit different because CF Moto's still new to the whole on-road game here in the US. Typically, we have one day with one bike to really get to know it. However, given the circumstances, CF Moto figured it made more sense to have content creators out to ride the entire fleet because people haven't really seen CF Moto's in the wild, much less ridden one. They had so much faith in their products to make eight distinct impressions with minimal ride time that essentially, they gave us our own VIP demo day. The facility we were given access to consisted of two tracks in one, an outer loop for all the beans testing, and an infield for more technical riding. I'm not sure what it was that day, but I feel like I always had more fun on the technical portion. However, I'd be lying if I said I didn't have a smile plastered across my face hearing the bike scream on the backstretch, especially with the 650NK. I'm still smitten with that specific platform, both the NK and the Aventura were kind of like the Swiss army knives of the whole bunch. I won't get into specifics just yet. I promise I'll get there, but I gotta get through the who, what, where, and why. Who is CF Moto? CF Moto is a manufacturer of ATVs, UTVs, and now motorcycles. But today we're just gonna focus on the on-road offerings of which there are seven that can currently be had here in the States at the time of recording this. Two in the 300 category, two in the 650 category, two in the 700s, and this little guy in the mini moto segment. Okay, I, I know I just said I wouldn't ramble, but look at this little guy. He's got six speeds, just over nine horsepower, and it flicks like a light switch. Also, it costs less than its big name rivals while still feeling like good quality. All right, back on topic. On a less macro scale, the question of who is CF Moto can be answered with the statement, just a group of good people who are in it for the right reasons. From the very start of our back and forth, it's always felt like a conversation between regular people who just happen to be motorcycle enthusiasts. I won't get into details, but I actually had to cut my trip short for this press ride because of a family emergency. And not only did our CF Moto contact, Reed, get me on the soonest flight back to Atlanta, Chris Peterman, CF Moto's director of motorcycle strategy, drove me directly from the testing facility to the Minneapolis St. Paul airport. Next up, what is a CF Moto? I feel like I already kind of touched on this while answering the who is CF Moto, but let's go a bit further down this rabbit hole. Well, a CF Moto is any bike with the CF Moto badge. Simple enough. But what you can expect is an experience like using a hand tool. It just works. And I know that sounds like a cop out, but hear me out. Are you a mechanic? Do you have a low key favorite wrench that just never fails? If you cook, do you have a spatula for flipping pancakes without messing them up? The bikes from CF Moto are just like that. Just good tools that work well, which is great. But just like most tools that work well, there will always be companies out there with similar products that are doing the same job, just flashier. Which, mind you, isn't bad, but it starts to warp the perspective of it all. Where is CF Moto? CF Moto US is based out of Minneapolis, Minnesota. On that car ride to the airport, I actually got to pick Chris Biederman's brain a bit and come to find out, CF Moto is based out of Minneapolis because that's where their original off-road operation started. Rather than moving the on-road operation elsewhere, they just kept it all together. If you were also wondering where you could go find one of their bikes IRL, there's a dealer locator on the CF Moto website. Save for Rhode Island and Hawaii, there's at least one CF Moto dealer in each state. And keep in mind, they're still growing as a company, so the list is ever expanding. Why is CF Moto deep? But let's take that question a little further. Why is CF Moto choosing now of all times to enter the market? And to that I say, have you seen the market lately? In a word, it's nuts. Bikes are spoken for when they hit the dealership floor, dealer prices are through the roof, and used prices aren't much better. Just from a business standpoint, there couldn't be a better time for them to get into the market. Remember, the team at CF Moto are riders as well. CF Moto knows just how hard it is to get the bikes that you're probably seeing on a daily basis that have you dreaming about hitting the twisties or eating up highway miles for the weekend. I just had to get rid of my bike and I had planned on eventually doing a track day with it. Besides still having a spot in my future garage reserved for a certain other bike that I got to ride earlier this year, I've been flirting with the idea of a 300 SS for fast boy purposes. 
you know, something to learn how to carry speed on. Maybe even drag a knee from time to time. I've looked at the cost of track day wear items. Replacement tires and brakes for a 300? I can get on board with that. I think I covered everything, right? Who, what, where, why, don't ramble. Don't ramble. Oh, my favorite part. Okay, okay. Out of respect for Chase's first rides, let's keep this to a minimum. I'll say one thing about each of CF Moto's segments, speed round style. The 300s. 300 single in both of these does what most singles do. They rev up, they make you sound like you're going super fast because that's what our lizard brains are trained to think. Then out of nowhere, another rider on a bigger bike blows your fairings off at Mach whatever and you realize, man, I'm not even breaking the speed limit. And you can't help but laugh because your self image has just been shattered, but it only adds to the experience because the air of seriousness got left behind with your arrow. Shit, that scared me. Look how, man, that man is gone. Man is gone. Homie is, he moving out. <laughs> Mass exodus. I can see this. This would be a good date night bike, having two of these, especially if you're in a small city or, you know, even in a big city. <laughs> Just blowing the doors off me. That's another 300. Oh no. Gotta lay off the cheeseburgers. The 650s. These felt like the most well-rounded bikes in the lineup. Want to go ride all day? This is your bike. Want to meet up with friends at your favorite road for some spirited riding? This is your bike. Looking for a first bike and you don't want to go too big or too small? This is your bike. The only real downside is having to choose between the fully fared Adventura and the stripped down NK. I naturally want to go for the NK since I'm still missing my FC09, but the Adventura comes ready to ride with bags. As someone who has spent many a days and many a miles with a heavy backpack strapped to me, you can't beat the utility of bags. I, I dig this. This would be definitely a second bike. A second bike where I knew that I was like, if I, if I enjoyed going on longer moto adventures and moto trips, I would definitely make this, uh, make this a to-do to have. Ah, uh, yes, the 700 squad. Hands down, the 700 stand out the most from their current lineup with their retro inspired looks. However, I feel like the 700 CLX would look right at home in Cyberpunk 2077. Okay, maybe it could use just a little more neon to like really fit the bill. But I'm just saying, if CD Projekt Red wanted to make a cyberpunk movie, the CF Moto 700s would have my vote for the hero bikes. Ooh, that's a good sound. You know, some engines just, they just don't sound nice. They don't run good. Oh man, this is nice and smooth. And last but not least, well, hey, may, baby, hey, Bo, when is this video set to release? August? Like after August 1st? I think so. Okay, not last and still not least, the Papio. Just a charming bike. I had never ridden a mini moto before this, so I had no idea what to expect. And it was a delight to find out what an absolute riot this bike is. I'm sure people will use this bike as a daily commuter to save on gas, but I could totally just seeing having a few of these to race around your neighborhood on, or maybe just around your yard. Totally flickable, able to do technical riding, and if you really wanted to, you could hop on the highway for maybe an exit or two. Maybe just to the next exit. <laughs> At night, goodness, bless. Okay, difference of speed is real right now, y'all. <laughs> the difference in speed is real. You know, for this little Papio, I could see this being a, a pit bike, a pit bike, like at a drag strip or whatnot. But I could also see this being like the neighborhood dad bike. Could the Papio conquer the tat? I mean, maybe, but I'd rather leave that to the new guy, the big bad, CF Moto's ADV bike coming soon to a dealer near you. Well, hopefully near you. <laughs> the 800 MT, and I got to ride it. I mean, everybody there got to ride it. 
but I got to ride it before chasing Bo. Objectively, the bike is a powerhouse. Okay, okay, car guy moment. You know how a big block Chevy will get to breathe in and then it's just hold on for dear life? It's the exact same. Twist the throttle and let the bike eat. It sounded mean, it felt balanced, maybe a little bit heavy up top when you're sitting still, but I don't think there's a hill that this bike can't climb. This is large and in charge. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this thing is so cool. I feel like I could like run over anything. Give me a curb. Give me a stump. Anything. I can run over it. Subjectively, I love the looks of the bike. With Adventure Bros always being a topic in the shop, I've recently been exposed to just how much the looks of an ADV bike can vary. The 650 is still my favorite of the day, but I wouldn't mind being a guest Adventure Bro on the 800 MT. Adventure Bros with Bo Exotic and Chase the Ace, guest starring the artist formerly known as Trey, or maybe the mechanic formerly known as Trey. <laughs> See, this is why I gave myself a prompt to stick to. Now I'm all off topic. However, this is how I get ideas for videos. So. Did you like my summation of CF Moto? Do you now want to make a pilgrimage to your nearest CF Moto dealer? Trust me, you do. And keep your eye out for a demo day. You never know when they're gonna pop up. Thanks again to everyone at CF Moto that made the event possible. Not say it enough, I'm terrible with names, but you know who you are, you know what you did. I'm still stoked that I got to ride wide open throttle on a closed course. Just go ahead and uh, check that one off the old bucket list. For all kinds of two wheel content, consider subscribing. And don't forget to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed the video. Until next time, I'm producer Trey. This is Chase on Two Wheels. Outro crew, given the choice to take home any of these bikes, which would you want the keys to? Let me know in the comments below. Cheers, y'all.